often have this conception about the prophets of the Old Testament being grumpy old men who want to point their fingers at people and yell at them for being sinners. They forcefully call people to repentance because the end is near and you better change your ways or else God's going to get you. Certainly, there is a whole lot of thus saith the Lord in the books of the prophets. They are the Lord God's spokesmen after all. It is their literal job to speak God's word to the people of Israel. Sometimes it was good news. Oftentimes it was bad. Doom, agony, defeat, all of this is coming your way because you abandoned the one true God. That's what you usually think of when you hear about a prophet, right? The prophetic office is usually completely separate from the priestly office. Priests served in the temple. They offered sacrifices, interceded in prayer. They led daily worship services, presided over the great feasts. All things that correlate with what pastors do today, generally. Prophets, on the other hand, roamed outside of the temple, sometimes in Jerusalem, often around the countryside and even other nations. Think of Jonah being sent to Nineveh. And Jeremiah, though, based in the city of Jerusalem while Ezekiel, his contemporary, was in Babylon. So what all of the prophets had in common if you read about them closely, that is, is that they were very real men with very real concerns about their service to God and about their own lives. Elijah wondered if there was anybody else in the whole country who still believed in God. Jeremiah wondered if people would take him seriously because he was so young. Jonah knew that God was a forgiving God, and he wouldn't destroy Nineveh if they repented, so there's no way he wanted to go. So as we talk about Ezekiel, remember that he was a regular guy. He was called by God to speak his word to God's people, exiled in Babylon, to remind the people of Israel that they had not been abandoned, that the Lord God heard their prayers, that he still loved them. And that's the work of the prophet, a man called specifically by God to speak the living word into their ears so that they know the Lord is still with them and he still cares for them. What do you value? At Concordia University, Nebraska, we value the equipping of church workers for lives of service to both church and world. In a culture where our faith can often be met with derision, our world needs ardent Christian leaders to rise to the helm and steer the next generation of Christ followers into new territory. You have the God-given gifts. We have the tools to uncover and develop them. We are Nebraska's university with values.